is a um, snack that I make John for this vacation, holiday, Thanksgiving week. Y'all hear my silly dog, Jax. He just loves getting in on these videos. <laughs> um, anyway, what I make him, like I was telling y'all when I got our barbecue going earlier, um, I like to have him some snacks during this Thanksgiving week because he takes off and he just hunts, hunts, hunts. Y'all know he works all the time. And so I tell him, baby, it's a short week. Just take this week off and just have some downtime. And in his deer stand, he not only rests and gets peace and tranquility, he can pray. He just gets some downtime. It's just like downtime. That's it. That's what he gets. So anyway, I have to have him a lot of snacks to keep him going during his downtime. <laughs> and uh, so something he'll come in and snack on and he loves dearly is corn dip. And I got this recipe from my cousin Charlene. Uh, Charlene and I were raised up almost like sisters, really. We we wanted to be around one another. Every weekend, we were coming up with reasons why we need to get together, spend the night with each other, and I stayed over at her house a ton. Um, but anyway, she put this corn dip recipe in our church cookbook years ago when we were teenagers, and I don't know where she got it from, but I'm so glad she did because I love it. Love it, love it. And it's a dip, but it's got good things in it that you don't feel so bad about eating. Although we're eating it with chips and everything, but it is holiday. So, um, anyway, anybody that tries it it's, always wants the recipe. So, um, I've taken a picture of this recipe card. I'm going to come put it up here, too, in case y'all want to snap a picture. And I hope this gets in focus for you at some point. And if not, if not, don't worry. Because I'm going to, um, when I edit my video, I'm going to try to put this in on the end. And if I don't get it, y'all know I'll just post it separately. So, so no worries, no worries. Um, it's a real easy little corn dip recipe. Um, first thing it's going to call for is two cans of Mexi corn. And these are 11 ounce cans and drained as well. Okay, we don't want any of that juice. We don't want to make it soupy. Um, these are 11 ounce cans and Mexicorn is just your whole corn of corn and it has red and green bell peppers in it. And if I cannot find these, I always am able to find these at either Brookshire's or Walmart, whichever one I go to, or Big Star. If one doesn't have it, the other one has it. But if you cannot find these, I've also got something before and it's the bigger ounce cans that say Southwest flavored corn or something like that. And it's got some of the same things in it. I've had to do that before too, and I'll use just two of the big cans, and it works out just fine because this isn't a, an exact recipe. We're not baking or anything, so that'll work as well, okay? All right, so we've got two of these 11 ounce cans of Mexi corn, and I'm going to put it in here. They're nice and drained. Let me get that out of our sight. Putting it in a, a paper chef. Pampered Chef um, bowl as well, glass bowl, because it's got this little lid on it that I love because I can just pop this whole thing in the refrigerator and John can get it out and get what he wants and eat and move on. Next, we're going to put a cup of sour cream. Get my big old thing of sour cream. I always buy me a big one like this during the holidays. And I got that spatula dirty down in that corn, so we better not use him. My cup measure here and get us a cup of this sour cream out. John's forwarded his calls to me too, so if my phone goes to ring, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm being the A and the A and J. I sure am. Um, all right, we've got our cup of sour cream, and now we're going to need one cup of mayonnaise, and I just use that same. Thing. That's not going to hurt anything. My sour cream or my mayonnaise. And yes, I did get Duke's mayonnaise. Lots of y'all said, get you some Duke's. You got to try Duke's. And it is good. Yes, it is. Of course, I still like Hellman's and I still like Blue Plate. I'm kind of partial to Blue Plate because they're from Louisiana. But we all need to make a living, don't we? <laughs> we sure do. So I got my cup of mayonnaise. My cup of Duke's mayonnaise. Alright, and now we need one can of green chopped chilies, 
And I'm going to bring that up here, folks, for y'all to see. Chopped green chilies. And I do not drain these because it's not got much juice. And that juice that's in there is very, very flavorful. So we're going to put that on in there. Get all of that goody out of there. Yes. Yes, yes. Next, we've got um, three green onions to chop. And I did four green onions, and I went on and pre-washed these before I got on here and chopped the bottoms off of them. And I did four because they're really, see, they're kind of tiny. So I said, well, I'll do three. Four. So three or four. Whatever you want. And I know some of you would say, if you don't have green onions, can you use another onion? I'm sure you can. Um, these green onions are real good in it, though, because they're not real, real harsh onion flavor y'all know what i mean so and they give a green color and it's real pretty so i like using the green spring onions i do i sure do we'll put those in there and y'all a lot of you asked about that other knife i was using that white handled knife and I told y'all i got them at sam's and a lot of you went and got one and um love it and i'm so glad so Please don't be mad, but I, when I had that little pampered chef party, I, I was able to get some hostess money, and I got me a nice pampered chef uh, knife right now, so, and I'm in love with it, too. As long as it's a good sharp knife, I love it. This is cilantro, y'all, and y'all know that I grow it during the summer outside, but he got really tired earlier in the summer, and uh, he's gotten on with Alice. My cilantro plant. So um, I just buy it at the grocery store and I bring it home and I wash it real good under my water faucet with just cold water. And I put him in a little mason jar with some water and I actually put this whole thing inside my refrigerator on the top shelf like where my milk and orange juice and things are. And y'all see how nice and perky it stays? And honestly, he'll stay like this about 10 days. For, for real, for real he will be for sure. And so then all you get is what you want off of there. You put them in tacos and dips and quick sauces and corn dip like we are. And now on my recipe card that Charlene, that I got from Charlene, my cousin, it did not have cilantro in it. But I've kind of added that through the years. It's another little Mexican flavor. That's so good. And I'm just finally chopping it. And John loves cilantro too, so I know he would like it. And y'all, that's maybe a tablespoon and a half or two tablespoons of chopped cilantro. Just however much you want, if you want it, okay? Even if you want it. All right, what else do we need? We need eight ounces of cheddar cheese. I get finely shredded because it mixes really well in here. Um... And this is a quick thing, so I don't get it in pre-shredded, okay? It's just a quick dip, and I need to get on with my Thanksgiving cooking. And so, and this one's called a triple cheddar, so it's got some white and yellow cheddar in there. It's eight ounces. I'm going to put this right on up in here. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to stir this, y'all. <laughs> we'll make it. We'll figure it out. The only other thing is some uh, chopped jalapenos and you can put I think Charlene's recipe called for um, just as much chopped jalapeno as you desire to put in there because some of us like things really spicy and some of us don't um, and instead of buying just a fresh jalapeno I pickled these back during the summer and I do have that video on here it's a poor little video it chops my head off because I was trying to condense it and the app I was using was just not one I would recommend but um, but I'll do it again this summer when we grow some in the garden together. I'll pick them again because I know it's a, it was a poor video. But you can go back and at least see how to pick them. Um, even if you want to get you some from the store and want to do you some pickled ones. Because this is so good during the holidays. To uh, If you cause for jalapeno chopped, you just get a few of them out like this. Okay? And John likes it plenty spicy. So I've got about... I don't know, tablespoon and a half, two tablespoons, and I'm going to finally chop this jalapeno so you don't get a big old bite of jalapeno. And when you pickle 
have a hot opinion like I do, it kind of tones it a bit. It tones it down a bit and it's not just knock your head off. But I pick one with the seeds and all. I do, I do. I'm going to just chop this very, very fine. So I won't blow John's head off one time when he takes a bite. I smell these all the way up here, even though I toned them down picking on them. All right, y'all. I hope I'm not getting out of my camera view. Let me get that right here. Put that. Yeah, that's a tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons of chopped jalapeno. Like I say, you can um, make this recipe all during the holidays, and it's very festive looking with that Mexi corn because it's red and green. Get my towel, wipe my hands off, y'all. Y'all! Let's see, I believe that's it. Now, let's get this all stirred up here real pretty together. It's a thick, thick um, corn dip, and I like that. I really, really like that. Um, my little niece will come a lot of years for Thanksgiving and stay a few days um, with my sister Renee from down south Louisiana, and um, she'll make it for me. Um, this year, they may or may not come because of all this lovely COVID we got going on. But um, So I'm going to go on and get it made. And she likes to add things to it. Like she'll put some chopped black olives, which is very good in there. So she kind of took this recipe and made it her own. So uh, that's what you can do. Like I say, I took Charlene's recipe and I added some cilantro and Paige takes my recipe and she added black olives. Um, I'm going to get me a little bowl and this is the chips you can serve with. You can use whatever chips you want to. But it's really good and it's a thick dip and so you want something substantial like these scoops here. So you can dip it, and as it sits in the refrigerator, it's not near as good right now. I'm going to get me a bite. Mm. Good. Like I say, as it sits in the refrigerator, because you are going to cover this. That's why I love this little thing. If not, just put the bowl, put some plastic wrap over it, or a... a store bought with a plastic container with a lid, whatever you want to do, but as it sits in the refrigerator, it's going to taste better tomorrow and the next day. When John comes in off the deer stand, he wants a little snack or he's about to go back out and wants a little snack. It gets um, all the flavors married together, as they say, and it tastes really, really good. Something that would be great in here, and y'all know, y'all know what I'm going for, don't you? Is some smoked paprika. I'll be right back. Y'all know it would be so good in here, wouldn't it? Yes. Mm, yeah. It's gonna, it's gonna add a great little smoky flavor, and I'm gonna add about a teaspoon, just like that. That's gonna make it really, really good, isn't it? It sure is. Okay, guys, I'm going to come over here and show y'all close up of what this looks like. I hope y'all can see. Let me get a pretty little chip out. Let's just do it upright, huh? I hope y'all can see this. See how nice it is, and it's a good thick. And y'all see how much it made? I think this is a... Uh, this is my eight cup container. <laughs> it made a ton, didn't it? I know. Um... But you see how pretty it is? And, and it's so very, very good. So y'all gonna make this and enjoy.